from the Big Flim Studios in sunny Southern California. It's Big Flim's Pigskin Picks with your host, Lorenzo Big Flim Fleming. Hello, folks, and Happy New Year. I hope that your 2020 was somewhat successful, albeit, you know, less stressful considering what we have to deal with in 2020, you know, especially with the COVID-19 pandemic, as well as the upheaval of jobs, education, and our normal way of life. And I thank the Lord that I made it and my family made it, and I hope and pray that you and your family has made it through 2020 as well and live to see today. And I hope and pray that your 2021 will be better than your 2020. All right, folks. Right now, we're about to wrap up the college football season. Right now, we're in the final stretches of the college bowls, football bowl season. Right now, this weekend, today, this New Year's Day, of course. Happy New Year again. And like I said, we got a couple of college football playoff games as well. So... With that being said, let's get this party started. If you, you know, still waking up from that New Year's Eve get together, hopefully it is safe and nobody, you know, didn't get around someone who probably had COVID-19 and all that good stuff. All right. Our first matchup for today, we have the Citrus Bowl, where we have the six and four Auburn Tigers, aka the Kitty Cats, or the Auburn Kittens. Versus the number 14 ranked Northwestern Wild, was it Wildcats. I think that's what they are. The Wildcats of Northwestern, 6-2 from the Big Ten conference with 14 schools. So I haven't really been paying much attention as far as the overall record. But as far as Big Flam and the Pigskin Picks is concerned, we're going to stick with the SEC. We're going to pick Auburn to win over Northwestern in the Citrus Bowl. All right, our next matchup. For this bowl season, we have one of our two college football playoff teams. We have the number fourth ranked Notre Dame at 10 and 1, plays Alabama, the number one ranked Alabama Crimson Tide, who is undefeated at 11 and 1, won the SEC Conference Championship over Florida. And of course, they demolished my Georgia Bulldogs earlier in the season. But like I said, these are the two two of the four teams in the college football playoffs, and the winner of this game will play the winner of the next game. But let's get back to the subject at hand, especially the way Matt Jones and that and that Alabama offense plays with Steve Carcesian as offensive coordinator, especially when he filled in for Nick Saban, who tested positive for COVID-19 twice this season. The first time he was tested, he got held yeah, he, he was allowed to play. Then the second time, he was held out. So, we're going to go with Alabama in a close one. I don't know if it's going to be a close one like the SEC championship game, but I think Alabama will prevail over Notre Dame in the college football playoffs in the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California. All right, our next matchup is our second half of our college football playoff games. It will be held in the Sugar Bowl. Normally... The winner of the SEC normally goes to Sugar Bowl, but with the college football playoff format, that kind of changed a bit. But anyway, we had the number three rank Ohio State, the Ohio State, the Buckeyes, a.k.a. the Buckaroos, at 6-0. and Like I said, they played a limited schedule this year because of COVID-19. They play the number two rank Clemson Tigers at 10-1 and with Trevor Lawrence. And right now, Trevor Lawrence is kind of like the leading vote getter for this year's Heisman Award trophy. And normally the Heisman will be normally already been handed out already before this time, but because of COVID and the way things have been going, they decided to hold the Heisman Trophy ceremony after this weekend, probably early next week. They'll announce to, they'll have the Heisman Trophy presentation and Trevor Lawrence is kind of the heavy favorite and possibly heavily favored to be the first round pick in next season's NFL draft. So with that being said, any close you got Justin Fields 
like I say, he could possibly come out and go pro after this season. And like I say, it's also a painful reminder for Georgia fans that oh, he should have stayed at Georgia. But he did what he needed to do for his career, and God bless him for it. But anyway, let's get back to the subject at hand. And we're going to pick the Clemson Tigers over the Ohio, the Ohio State Buckeyes, a.k.a. the Buckaroos from the Big Ten, in the other half of the college football playoff game in the Sugar Bowl. All right, let's continue on with our next bowl matchup. We have the number 23 rank NC State Wolfpack at 8 and 3 as they play the Kentucky Wildcats at 4 and 6. I'm surprised they got into a bowl the way they played from the SEC. And that game is scheduled for tomorrow in the Tax Slayer Bowl. So, since I have a fondness for the ACC, so we will pick the NC State Wolfpack over the Kentucky Wildcats in the Tax Slayer Bowl. And now our next bowl matchup, we have the Ole Miss Rebels at 4-5 and five with our first-year coach, Lane Kiffin, former Alabama assistant and former Florida Atlantic University coach, and, of course, former USC coach, former Raider coach in the NFL, former Tennessee coach, so on and so forth. He's been around. Lane Kiffin, he's been around. So they play the number 11th ranked Indiana Hoosiers. Like I said, they did pretty good this year for a shortened season. The Indiana Hoosiers from Bloomington, Indiana. All right. So I hate to go against the SEC on this one, but, but I like to go with a winner. And I would go with the Indiana Hoosiers over the Ole Miss Rebels. I'm trying not to find the name of this bowl that they're in. Okay, all right, Indiana, in the Outback Bowl down there in Tampa. So, All right, folks, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with Big Flips, Pigskin Picks, College Football Edition 2020 season, here on Big Flim Radio and TV. <laughs> Hey there, folks. This is Lorenzo Big Flim Fleming, creator and host of Big Flim Radio and TV, with a very important PSA in regards to COVID-19. As you know, our world has been ravaged by the coronavirus pandemic that has upended our normal daily routines. We must do our part to minimize the spread of COVID-19 by practicing social physical distancing, which is six feet space between each other, wear a face mask or shield, use hand sanitizer at all times, and wash our hands constantly for at least 20 seconds. Big Flint Radio and TV is sending our prayers for those who have been infected and recovering from this virus. Our hearts go out to those who lost loved ones and friends to this COVID-19 scourge. Please, please stay safe and do your part to help minimize the spread of COVID-19 until an FDA-approved vaccine is available. Big Flint Radio and TV cares. Oh, one more thing. I don't know how I could forget. I can't get started in the mornings without my Folgers. I'm not big on coffee. Folgers is more than coffee, though. Their Mountain Girl freshness is in their cappuccinos and coffee lattes. Oh, really? What flavors do they have? My favorite is Caramel Groove Coffee Latte, but you can try their Vanilla Vibe, Mocha Fusion, or Straight Up Latte. They also have usual cappuccino flavors, French Vanilla, English Toffee, and Cinnamon Vanilla Nut. Sounds good. Looks like I'll be starting my mornings with the Mountain Grown Freshness of Folgers, too. For Mountain Grown Freshness in every cup, look for Folgers in the new plastic canister. It's lightweight, stackable, and the built-in handle is easy to hold. There's a foil freshness seal that's easy to remove. The struggle with the can opener is no longer necessary. The snap-tight lid seals the Mountain Grown aroma in and the air out. For your Folgers on the go, try Instant. And for even more Mountain Grown Freshness, pick up Folgers Whole Bean. Available at all your local grocers. Flim Radio wants you to know that approximately every 51 minutes, someone is killed in a drunk driving crash. Buzz driving can also cause huge financial penalties with fines and legal fees. Friends, don't let friends drive drunk. Find out more at nhtsa.org.
Gnarly, dude. This is Jesper Coley. When I'm out hanging tin, catching the waves, checking out the chicks, and skipping Mr. Hands class, I'm listening to Big Flim Radio and TV. Oh, <laughs> Folks, welcome back. I'm sure by now, if you haven't heard, um, please check out Big Flim's radio and TV website. It's a website with six podcast channels and maybe room for an additional podcast channel in the near future. Covering sports, mainly college and NFL football. Sport, mean sports, sorry. Music, talk and veterans issues and information and also we have a nice online store where we have big flame radio and tv theme merchandise or merch for short i know that some of you probably haven't checked it out for this past holiday and i know that that's one of my goals for 2021 is to make this website more user friendly and make it more presentable so that way you can get a chance to view the website and its contents and also pass the link on to your friends and family members, co-workers, strangers, and alien from Mars. So, with that being said, please check out the website at www.bigflimradiotv.com. Again, that's www.bigflimradiotv. That's one word. That's B I G. F-L-E-M, as in Mike, R-A-D-I-O, TV, dot com. Now, if you want to be a guest picker or guest pronosticator for Big Flim's Pigskin Picks NFL and College Football editions, as well as if you want to make a dedication on our music podcast shows, or if you want to be a guest, or if you want to leave a comment on topics that we'll be discussing in our talk podcast, as well as our veterans' information podcast, feel free to do so. Send us an email at TV at gmail.com. Again, that's TV at gmail.com. And yes, you can also contact us through social media. We have a Twitter account with our Twitter handle at Flim underscore radio. Again, that's Flim, F-L-E-M is in Mike, underscore radio, R-A-D-I-O. And also, we have a Facebook group page as well under Big Flim Radio and TV, so please check it out. And also, we have a YouTube channel as well under Big Flim Radio and TV. I know we haven't used it in a while, so that's another goal that I set to resolve in 2020 is to have a more visible presence on our YouTube channels, making more videos, stuff like that. So please, by all means, check it out. All right, now let's get back to the rest of our college bowl and college playoff picks, shall we? All right, our next pick is for the Fiesta Bowl, where we have the 25th ranked Oregon Ducks at 4 and 2 from the PAC, aka the Pew 12, plays the 10th ranked Iowa State Cyclones at 8 and 3 from the Big Ten with 14 schools. So. Like I said, we didn't study too much of the teams this year, so I'm going to stick with the team with the better record. And we're going to go with Iowa State over Oregon in the Fiesta Bowl. All right, our last bowl pick for this bowl season, 2020, we have the number fifth rank Texas A&M at 81 in the SEC West playing the number 13th ranked North Carolina Tar Heels at 8-3 from the ACC. I see like both teams did well this year in spite of, you know, COVID restrictions and all the complications that came along with that as far as scheduling is concerned. But I'm going to stick with the with the SEC. We're going to say Texas A&M over a close one over North Carolina in the Orange Bowl down there in Miami. All right, let's do a quick recap of the college football playoff games as well as the remaining bowl games for today and tomorrow. Like I said, we have the Citrus Bowl. We picked Auburn Tigers, a.k.a. the Auburn Kittens, over North 14th-ranked Northwestern Wildcats in the Citrus Bowl. Our first college football playoff game, which will be held in the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California, 
we have the number fourth ranked Notre Dame at number at ten and one versus the number one Alabama at eleven and zero, and we and we picked the Alabama Crimson Tide roll tide. I hate for me. I hate to say I hate, I hate to say that, but oh well. In our second college football playoff game, we have the number three ranked the Ohio State Buckeyes, aka the Buckaroos, from the Big Ten with fourteen schools at six and zero. Playing the number two ranked Clemson Tigers at ten and one. So we're going to in the Sugar Bowl. We're going to pick and we pick the Clemson Tigers and Trevor Lawrence and company over the Ohio State Buckeyes, aka Buckaroos, for the second straight year in a row, denying Justin Fields an opportunity to go to the national title game. So, with that being said, we have the national championship game. I'm assuming scheduled for this coming Monday, if I'm not mistaken. I have to double check on that. If it is, then we're going with Clemson over Alabama in the national title game. So this will be their fourth meeting in the last six years in the national title game, and Clemson won two out. Of, Clemson won two out of three meetings so far for the national title as well as making it to the national title game. So I'm going with Clemson being three out of four. That's Big Flynn's picks. And like I said, for the Tax Slayer Bowl, we picked the number 23 North Carolina State Wolfpack over the Kentucky Wildcats. And in the Outback Bowl, we picked the, we picked the 11th rank Indiana Hoosiers over the Mrs. Ole Miss Rebels. And for the Fiesta Bowl, we picked the number 10th ranked Iowa State at 8-3 over the number 25th ranked Oregon Ducks at 4-2. And, and last but not least, we pick number 5th ranked Texas A&M at 8-1 over number 13th ranked North Carolina Tar Heels in the Orange Bowl. All right, folks, that about does it for this episode of Big Flims, Pigskin Picks College Football 2020 Season college football bowl games and college football playoffs so i hope you guys enjoy your games and i hope that you're recovering from your new year's eve celebrations and also please 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 i again say practice social and physical distancing wear your mask when you're outside and when you're around people and also maintain that six foot distance between people and also definitely wash your hands thoroughly with soap, of course, for at least 20 seconds, and definitely use your hand sanitizers. Like I said, we have to do our part to help flatten this curve of this coronavirus, like I said, that's been plaguing it, that plagued us this past year. And also, there's word going around that there's a new variant of the COVID 19 has kind of cropped out in a couple of states right now. And we got to be prepared for that too, as well. And also, I pray for those who lost loved ones to the COVID-19, to the COVID virus last, this past year, as well as those who've been sick and recovered from it. Lord, I, I continue to pray that they'll be recovered and be healed and hopefully develop the antibodies that will help others who are dealing with it. And also, I want to give thanks to our health care workers, our first line responder, our first responders, and our law enforcement officers. I want to give you a big thanks for all you do to help us make it through this and also to maintain law and order because i know you healthcare workers y'all sacrifice a lot and you put yourselves on the line for us to help care for those and including someone close to me who almost died from COVID 19 this past summer so i want to thank you you know healthcare workers you are in our thoughts and our prayers and continue to stay strong and stay on the front line and fight for us all righty folks Again, let's wrap this up. And again, I hope you enjoy your happy new year. And I hope and pray that your new year, you look forward to bigger and better things and whatever goals and aspirations that you thought about doing for 2021. I pray that it'll come to fruition. And I hope it'll be a positive one and productive one as well. All right, folks, until then, tune in next time for another edition of Big Flips, Pigs Game Picks, College Football 2020. And also, please check out Big Flim's Pigskin Picks NFL Edition for week number 29, I believe, because I know I've skipped a couple of weeks. The NFL season right now, it's 
the final game of the regular season, and the playoff picture is just about complete. So be on the lookout for that podcast episode this weekend as well, folks. So until then, take care, God bless, and stay safe here on Big Flim Radio and TV. Big Flim's Pigskin Picks NFL and College Football Editions are a production of Black Rebel Productions in association with Flim Media, a division of LWF Enterprises, LLC. The opening theme music clips are the sole properties of CBS Sports College Football as well as Fox NFL Sports. This podcast is intended for entertainment purposes only. Hey there, folks. This is Lorenzo Big Flim Fleming, creator and host of Big Flim Radio and TV, with a very important PSA in regards to COVID-19. As you know, our world has been ravaged by the coronavirus pandemic that has upended our normal daily routines. We must do our part to minimize the spread of COVID-19 by practicing social physical distancing, which is six feet space between each other, wear a face mask or shield, Use hand sanitizer at all times and wash our hands constantly for at least 20 seconds. Big Flip Radio and TV is sending our prayers for those who have been infected and recovering from this virus. Our hearts go out to those who lost loved ones and friends to this COVID-19 scourge. Please, please stay safe and do your part to help minimize the spread of COVID-19 until an FDA-approved vaccine is available. Big Flip Radio and TV cares. Only. Lemonade! Lemonade for sale! Aren't you cute with your little lemonade stand? Would you like to buy some lemonade, Mr. King? No, thank you, sweetie. It comes with free checking. (laughs) You're like eight years old. You you say free checking? (laughs) Eight and a half. Do you have bankers in that little stand with you? No, but sign up and I'll get my daddy to stop stealing your newspaper. Okay. Uh, Do you print out little account statements? I'm not allowed on the computer since I got sued for downloading music. All right, I'll take a lemonade. Regular, tall, or venti. It seems like you can get free checking anywhere, even at a lemonade stand. So what makes that so special? That's why Wells Fargo gives you more than free checking. Because not only does Wells Fargo have free checking with direct deposit, you also get knowledgeable bankers who can help you with buying a car, a house, or simply saving for the future. Whatever your financial goals, don't settle. Expect more from your checking. Talk to a knowledgeable Wells Fargo banker today. Wells Fargo, the next stage. Wells Fargo Bank and a member FDIC. Share a story you've heard over Heineken, Pull 1, 800, 44, Red Star. The machine is always on. Talk to you later. Heineken USA, White Plains, New York. If you ever look at the label on a can of caustic brain cleaner, why have it around? Especially if you have kids. If you have trouble with sewage or drains, call a non caustic professional. Me. I'm your little rooter man. I can take care of any problem from the little rain to the big man. Caustic chemicals can be hazardous to your children's health. I'm not. Big Flim Radio and TV.